to understand a bit more about the Indian culture and, um, and also become household names over here. So it, it's truly remarkable. It's a great opportunity for all players and, and not only players, but administrators and everyone to get involved. And I think uh, the fans of cricket have really enjoyed it over the years. Let me ask you uh, at the very top, is it harder to be Mr. 360 or is it going to be harder to be a commentator and please the fans inside the commentating box? <laughs> well, over there at Genius Geo Cinema, we've got a fantastic team, so I really feel at home. Um, it, it's, it's not an individual sport, which, which helps a lot. Um, it's nice to have teammates around you, and we have a lot of fun, and that's also part of our strength over there. Um, we are still cricket players. Uh, I still feel like I just played the other day, so that's the way we commentate as well. We, we really give the fans and the audience a bit of an uh, insight of what it feels like to go through those moments, the pressure moments, what it feels like in the change room, what it feels like to lose and also to win. And I think that's, that's what makes it really But special. are you nervous about be commentating more than wh when you were when you were going out to pad up? I, I, I don't think so, to be honest. It's a lot less pressure. You just sit there and um, you watch the players make the mistakes instead of yourself. <laughs> um, no, I, it, was, it was very nerve-wracking to walk out there to bat. Luckily, when I had my bat in hand, I started relaxing a bit, but the build-up was always really terrifying. Do one thing. Take your bat in the commentary box as well. <laughs> I should, sitting next to Brett Lee. Yes. Brett, I was going to come to you. Um, how has that journey been for you? Uh, what are the adjustments you had to make as a player to a commentator? Well, firstly, uh, namaste, Kesso. It's great to be back in my, uh, <laughs> my second country. The adjustments, look, it's... It's obviously different going from being a player than going up in the commentary box and, and working on the game. But the thing is, we're very lucky that we all have played, you know, the game and now get to talk about the game, which, you know, which we love. So it's so um, humbling as a former player to get out there and, as AB said, to, to watch other players and see what they do, the mistakes that they make and, and how they can fix the game. But for us, it's, it's, it's a lot of fun, you know, where sitting with mates that we've played against, mates that we've played with. Mm. And it's still like you actually get a feeling like you're still there playing, but we're not warming up and we're not doing the stretches. If he's Mr. 360, which he is, I, I think I might call myself Mr. 160. <laughs> not with my batting, of course. Absolutely. But tell me, uh, what is it about the IPL that clicks so well? Uh, and what is the impact that you have seen both as a player and now, you know, from outside the boundary line that this... Uh, this league has made in world cricket? Look, I think what the Indian Premier League has done, it's actually brought uh, a lot of different cultures a lot closer together. Mm. And my first, you know, couple of years, my first three years, I think it was playing for Kings Eleven, the Punjab Kings back then. Uh, and, and seeing how different guys prepare. Like you've got guys from South Africa, obviously players from India, uh, from all over the world, and just the different preparations that they go through. And I think it's brought... The cricket nations a lot closer together. It doesn't mean that we don't, when you get the chance to play against them on a national scale, you know that um, camaraderie's still there, that passion, that aggression's still there. But it just transcends and actually finds a way to um, to take that angst out of the game. And that's what the Indian Premier League has done. It just gets better and better and better. I always joke around and say that the hardest part about playing in the Indian Premier League wasn't necessarily the training and the bowling, it was the after parties <laughs> and trying to recover from that. So that, that was a lot of fun. It's changed though. Spoken like a true player. Uh, it's changed. I think a few cricketers have said so. <laughs> but Akash, speaking of the IPL and its success, uh, I do want to broaden this to the format itself. You know, we've had a lot of conversations and, and you know, Brett and AB can weigh in on this as well along with Anjum. Uh, there's been a sense that the T20 format in itself is a bit threatening to other formats, particularly the classical format of Test cricket. Uh, do you sense that there is a concern? I mean, the BCCI recently incentivized monetarily for players to play more Test cricket. Uh, what does that tell you? And is there a concern? Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, and actually, these two guys, uh, for everybody's uh, consumption, their Aadhaar card is already made. And we are linking it with their bank <laughs> accounts as well. Uh, so they're, they're as Indians as Indians can be. Uh, but uh, when you talk about the T20 cricket uh, threatening, I think uh, there is a possibility of everyone to coexist. Uh, this was the threat uh, way back in 2008 as well, when the tournament was first launched. 
Uh, I was uh, one of those skeptics that uh, it may actually eat into test cricket too much. Nobody would want to play test cricket and all of that uh, uh, because uh, I was still that old school and couldn't play like AB, of course. Uh, not many of us could. Uh, so, but, but it has still coexisted. Let's be fair, uh, on Geo Cinema and uh, Sports 18, we were uh, covering the test series that just got concluded. Uh, it was India versus England. Uh, absolute prop draw where uh, contests were, uh, uh, were very keenly contested. Uh, two quality teams going at each other. Uh, there is a lot of charm there. Uh, yes, it is uh, uh, under a bit of pressure, but pressure is good. Uh, all, all cricketers will tell you that uh, we need to thrive under pressure. If you buckle and you disappear, I mean, uh, bad luck. But uh, test cricket has survived 150 odd years. Mm. Uh, so there must have been a few other existential crises uh, uh, that uh, may have come up earlier, but uh, it, has, uh, it has survived. Uh, BCCI is doing its bit. Uh, it's not just, uh, uh, they've added actually 45 lakh rupees up to 45 lakh rupees mm. per game. At, in addition to the 15 lakh that you get, so it's about nearly what 80,000 US dollars mm -hmm. uh, for a game of cricket, uh, which is phenomenal. Uh, see, India will continue to do its bit. Uh, Australia is again very keen to play test cricket. Uh, South Africa is uh, facing their own uh, yes. set of challenges, and uh, we don't mean to look down upon anyone because uh, all of us are very different. Uh, we have our own challenges. Uh, but I do feel uh, when you talk about test cricket, uh, like we are doing at the IPL, and you will see it on Geo Cinema throughout, uh, uh, we celebrate uh, this festival of cricket for the next two years. Uh, but we equal, take, take test cricket equally seriously. And that's how we did for the last five weeks when England were here. And uh, uh, it, it will thrive uh, only if uh, the three big boys at this point in time, uh, India, England, and uh, uh, Australia, sorry, AB. Uh, they, they, they keep investing in it and they keep actually uh, funding the sh uh, T20 money should start funding test cricket. At some stage it will happen. It is already now visible in Indian cricket when you talk about those $80,000 per game. Uh, so that might just be the road ahead because uh, anybody who's played the game, uh, anybody worth its salt will tell you that test cricket is actually the, uh, the, the pinnacle test. of uh, your skill set or skill set being challenged. Uh, so I'm, I'm sure it'll stay in maybe in a slightly different form and shape, but it'll be there. Anjum, uh, lots of responsibility on respective boards to do their bit, um, because as we all accept, there is a bit of threat, uh, and uh, we need to do a little bit more. Uh, do you sense that all boards will think, put their thinking caps on and you know put their hands together? Yeah, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, if I didn't say it, then I would have been singled out. So I rather say good afternoon to everyone. So <laughs> I think, look for, for the women cricketers, it's welcoming sign if we can continue to play test cricket. And since India has won, you know, the, the, the good part is that India beat Australia and mm -hmm. England at home. So the Philip of hosting more test matches has come about. We will be hosting South Africa in a very few, in a couple of months down, um, just after the IPL. So that's, that's important. But I do feel that test cricket cannot die. So it, it's like what Akash said, you know, when T20 came in, no one will play test cricket. But, you know, it's like a wheel, like this rising India wheel that we're always, we're all a part of at this point of time. Hmm. It will come around. And I think it's obviously the English cricket board, Australian, Indian, South African, New Zealand, all these cricket boards will need to do their bit. They will all come around. It's all about investing at the right time, at the right place. But A.B., certainly the modern cricketer, do you sense faces a different dilemma when it comes to choosing their career path, which is why we are having to incentivize a little bit for them? Uh, I mean, different choices that they have to make vis-a-vis uh, -vis what you had to make in your days? Yeah, I'm, I'm quite thankful I never had to make the decision. I was, I was always motivated just to play for my country. And whatever comes after that is a bonus, you know, mm. if there are any other leagues. Uh, which happened uh, during my career. For youngsters these days, it's, it's really not an easy decision, but it should be made easy for them. And, and that's where I'm coming from. I, I feel cricket is like music and test cricket is like classical music. It's, mm -hmm. it's it almost becomes part of you. It's an art where T20 is probably more like rock music. It's more entertaining and exciting, but there's room for um, all, all, all genres to exist uh, within music. Um, but it comes from the administrators, the boards, and they really need to take these decisions out of their hands or at least make it easy for them and say, you know what, it's still, it, it's still, it can be entertaining, it can be good for you to go and commit for test cricket. If you want to play T20, it's no problem, there's your route. Hmm. Um, so th I think that's the way forward. Brett, what would you tell modern-day cricketer today when it comes to these dilemmas? 
Well, firstly, have fun. That's that's the reason why we play cricket. And I'm with AB. You know, I, I sort of, I started playing cricket professionally 90, 96, 97, I think it was a long, long time ago. Mm -hmm. And you know, the, cho the the choice and options weren't there. And and my dream was to play for Australia, to wear the baggy green cap. So we want to make sure that any kid, any young boy or girl that wants to get the chance to play test cricket can have that opportunity. I think across the board though, what would have to happen in order to make it work is, is to make sure that the players get paid the same amount of money, whichever country that they're playing for. And if we can do that and bring different um, nations up to speed that aren't getting paid as well as they would in a T20 format, whereas it's the IPL or you know what, whatever format it might be, that might encourage the young boys and girls then to go back to play I guess more cricket. So maybe, yeah, it's up to the boards to get more funding in order to look after their players coming through. I'll just add one small bit, mm. and uh, that's where I think broadcaster can and has played a role. Mm. Uh, of course, we've spoken about the players, uh, uh, how can they be incentivized, but uh, uh, this is what we actually did it. Uh, make it accessible to everyone to watch it for free. Uh, there, are, there are countries where uh, it is not on terrestrial TV, and then you don't get to see it at all. If you don't see it, uh, you're not going to be encouraged to play it. Hmm. Uh, so the last uh, test series, I keep referring uh, to that uh, event, India-England, uh, wonderful test series, but it was also available on everyone's mobile, go wherever you Absolutely. watch. Uh, bring people into the stadium, don't charge them a, a, a penny, just bring them in. Uh, because if they play, if they watch their heroes play only in coloured clothing for their franchise or for their respective countries, uh, that's what they want to be. And if you want them to play test cricket, expose them to test cricket and suddenly they'll fall in love with it. Yeah. Uh, so that's something that uh, responsibility also lies with us uh, from, from a broadcaster point of view, that make it entertaining, make it innovative and, and, uh, and make it accessible because that's important. You know, uh, speaking of broadcasting, Akash, I don't think it would be unfair to say to anybody else that you are the most popular Hindi commentator in India and the world. What Sathya Akash has... <laughs> what Akash has managed to do with his uh, YouTube channel plus your signature brand of Akash Vani is absolutely phenomenal. So kudos on that. But you know, you, unlike us in news, get very real-time feedback. What is the biggest feedback you've received when you do this and interact with audiences? What has been the learning, the biggest learning? Uh, well, firstly, thank you so much. Uh, she's been too kind. Um, see. Feedback mechanism is, is a fantastic thing. Where do you get it from? And uh, uh, that's what I think digitalization has actually uh, been a game changer. Uh, if you were always been on linear TV, for example, if you're on linear medium, how would you know what works, what doesn't? Mm. Uh, it is just between a, a group of people deciding, oh, this is nice, and that is perhaps not nice. Mm. Uh, but when you are on a digital medium, uh, I think feedback is almost instant. Uh, you get to know uh, if, if people are tuning in, going out, uh, when they actually tend to yes. drop. Uh, and, and now you obviously are deeply ingrained uh, uh, in the digital space as well. So, so matrix have changed quite a bit. And I also feel actually uh, that uh, digital medium is empowering people. Uh, previously, you didn't have a choice. Now, when you consume any sort of content on digital medium, you have the choice. You're not sitting in a group of people and watching something on linear TV with uh, a remote control uh, being with somebody else. Mm. Uh, you're not forced to do anything. If it's on your mobile phone, uh, you decide what you want to watch. And if uh, the person who is watching is empowered, then it's our duty to engage him and engage him, him or her uh, for a significant period of time. Because if you are failing to do so, uh, then there is, there is no hope, and that's where, uh, now when we talk about the IPL and, and what we did at Geo Cinema, it can only happen uh, in a digital space, uh, where you've got 17 feed with 12 languages, and, and only at a click, only at a click that you decide. So, so do you modify what you're doing immediately almost, realizing, uh, okay, uh, you know, we need to do something different? You, you do, actually, you, you take, uh, take feedback. If, uh, uh, if it's available, if it's there, you watch mm. it and then you say, okay, fine, this is clicking, this may not be clicking. Uh, pop culture references, the, the yeah. new age, Gen, Gen Z things, I may or may not relate to personally because of the age, <laughs> uh, but, but my kids do. Uh, so, so you listen to them all the time and you respect them a lot more uh, because they are the ones who are giving you your t their time. And if you don't value it, uh, I think it's not going to fly. So, a very empowered uh, audience uh, has to be engaged entertainingly enough uh, for them to stay with you. I think, think the other thing too on Geo Cinema and, and the great thing that we have as, as broadcasters is that 
you know, we do things a little bit differently. You know, when you look at other different channels and stuff, everyone can see the cricket, you know, they can see the ball going to the boundary, they can see the reason why it's gone to the boundary, but what we bring is a different insight from past players, mm. different education, you know, the reasons behind playing that shot, the thought process that goes behind playing that shot, and we've got more time to explain it, I think, between balls, and that's... I've done both. I've done, you know, the live feed where we've done things, and I've done stuff last year um, with Geo Cinema. It's, it's very, very entertaining because, we, you know, we bring a different style of broadcasting to the team, and, uh, yeah, it's, it's been heaps of fun. You know, Anjum, one of the biggest innovations was different languages. I mean, India is a country of, you know, tens of languages that people speak and uh, the experiences that people have had with so many different languages, commentary now available online is a huge revolution. What ch I mean, what is the difference you noticed uh, in the way the audiences were pulled in because of language alone? A taxi driver was watching uh, IPL on Geo Cinema in Bhojpuri language. Yes. So I had to ask him what is the score because he was consuming that content and he says it's brilliant. Then one, one fine day I was like, uh, do you only watch cricket in Bhojpuri language? He says, no, friends of mine and actually watch it in Punjabi language also. So there I was in a more comfortable space because I do understand Punjabi. <laughs> but it's the fact like what uh, the gentleman have just mentioned about consumption of content, if it's available in a very much relatable language, which is, which is the first language for many people, where, be it Bhojpuri, be it Bengali or any other language, it's, if it's more relatable and it's also said in a very uh, funny way as well, mm. because it's, it's, at the end of the day, it's entertainment. It's not a, con it's not a product which you consume with a lot of seriousness. Cr seriousness is for the cricketers because we play. Mm. but not for the audience. So I think the, the way that Geo Cinema has brought about different languages and made it more accessible, as Akash mentioned, and you know, the entertainment value, that's why we see the product so successful. Who here would have thought that you would have commentary in Bhojpuri one day for cricket? Raise your hands. Did anyone see this coming? No. In Punjabi? No, right? That's the difference that has happened today, isn't it? Uh, Akash, I mean, it's been a revolution. Well, there, there is Haryanvi this year uh, <laughs> because people were asking for it. That, you know, this is far more entertaining. What are the requests that are coming in? Oh, lots, actually, I'll tell you. So there's, there's our Punjabi commentator goes by the name of Sunil Taneja. He's yes. very popular. Uh, people in Pakistan, and I met them, they said, we are watching him via VPN. I was like, hmm. wow, okay. Uh, because it is so Punjabi popular. Punjabi is spoken very yeah, popularly it is spoken in very Pakistan. Well, yeah, it's, it's spoken there. So, uh, see, I'll tell you, sport is, is a very strange kind of content piece that you can consume on mute. Uh, let's be yeah. fair, if it's there, uh, you don't even have to switch on the audio to know what is happening. Hmm. Uh, the audio is based only on, on your preference. If it is entertaining enough, I want to listen to it. I've got a, a teammate, uh, he comes from Khurja. Uh, so I asked him, what's your town in your town? What do you commentary? He said, sir, I'm listening to mute. हम तो क्रिकेट ही म्यूट पे देखते हैं। We don't oh. watch it with commentary because it's English. They don't understand it. Yeah. yeah. Uh, see, there is no disrespect, but if it is the language that I don't relate to, I don't understand. I might as well watch on uh, on mute. Mm. But uh, the moment I give you the language preference, uh, the language that you speak in, uh, the world opens up. It's far more entertaining and engaging in the end. Yeah, and you know, AB, it's not just about languages. It's also about capturing audiences that maybe were. I wouldn't say neglected, but uh, felt neglected. I mean, you have a YouTube, uh, you know, a, a, a YouTube show of your own, and uh, you were seen on a show with Mrs. De Villiers one day. So it's also about getting people involved, people generally that you wouldn't have spoken cricket with, isn't it? Yeah, with a YouTube show, I learned from the best over there. Eh? <laughs> Um, it's, it's not so easy, but I do enjoy it. It's nice to stay in touch with the cricket audience, and that's the idea behind the YouTube show, is to, to keep sharing what's on my mind about the cricketing world and some other stuff as well. Um, but yes, once again, uh, with our GeoCinema feed, we have the Hangout feed, which is quite, quite different. And um, I was uh, on that show with my wife, and um, I also got educated in that show, to be honest. <laughs> she told me that, no, this one time when KKR played RCB, and I'm obviously an RCB player, she actually supported KKR, and I was like, excuse me, what's that all about? She said, no, Shah Rukh Khan is one of my favorite guys. <laughs> I said, so I also learned some stuff on there, but I think the audience really relate to that. It's something different. It's something about my personal life and everyone's personal lives, and, and, and we get some of the players on there as well. I think Virat's been on a few of the younger guys, get on the show, and we just talk about different things, not only cricket. And um, 
Yes, there are die-hard cricketing fans out there, but there are also fans that want to know a bit more and not just cricketing stuff. So I think from that point of view, I think Geo Cinema has done incredibly well. Uh, there's also Brett 4K, there are hero cams, uh, there's so much technological innovation that is going on. Uh, does that boggle your mind sometimes to and see so that, many different things? And that's beats? just up in the commentary box. <laughs> on, on, the, on the field, it's good as well. Now, nah, look, it's... Um, yeah, it's, it's to see cricket in a different light where it's so close and so realistic now and the, you know, the camera angles and, and, and the clarity that you can watch with now is, is fantastic. You know, you mentioned, what, 17 different languages. I reckon there's 18. There's Hinglish as well. We should put Hinglish in there as the 18th. Which and we Brett will do and well in that. Brett can speak uh, tora, a bit tora, of Hindi. Tora, tora, Hindi. Tora, Brett, tora. Brett teaching him to be on Hindi feed this year. Hindi, Punjabi, we'll have a crack at everything, right? <laughs> Sashri Kalji up the back there. <laughs> um, now, nah, look, it, it's, it's so exciting. We are, we are on the, you know, the eve of the Indian Premier League starting. Great to be part of uh, Geo Cinema. It's a lot of fun. We want to bring a different product. People are enjoying it. And um, life is pretty good. Yeah. Uh, speaking of the IPL, I should mention, Anjum, the WPL just finished. Uh, you know, this project has been a revelation of sorts. Of course, we knew the IPL was already successful, but there was a little trepidation with the WPL launching a couple of years ago. Um, are you surprised at all with how well-loved this product has already become? Uh, day one, I was surprised. Uh, I think at the launch of the, uh, of the WPL, which was in Mumbai, last year and uh, the stadium was full in uh, in Navi Mumbai and I remember talking to uh, Zach Zahir and he was like uh, wow this is brilliant I said now Zahir can we sustain it hmm. uh, because of course Geo Cinema is showcasing it it's going in digital it's going on it's going on different languages on digital as well he says look how the cricket is played on the park will determine the success of it of course uh, rest is history cricket was entertaining and I was surprised looking at the numbers even after season one and now after season two hmm. that some of the best cricket played at the global level, we have surpassed those numbers, hmm. which means the content is consumed by more than 10 million people. I'm, I'm not comparing it to any of the World Cups right now, but then if our Indian product can deliver a hit like this, then I think we've done really well. And, and that's exactly what we wanted. We wanted the WPL to succeed. We wanted cricket to be showcased, brought to them as easily accessible as it was and is, and women's cricket to be right in front of them. So I think it's, a, for me, it's perfect because WPL just supersedes or precedes IPL. And if Bangalore team wins it, it's, it's entertaining yeah. like this. <laughs> you know, why not? <laughs> I was going to come to AB. AB, the girls have finally done it. When are the boys, when are the boys going to do it? I think it's destiny. It's honestly like, I mean, the girls did it now and in a relationship, the guys got to come to the party now. It's just how it is. <laughs> uh, I, I do think uh, the shackles are broken. I think this is the year. Uh, it's, it's meant to be for the guys. I don't, so, I don't mean to pull your leg, but every season we say this is going to be RCB season. You've heard it before, right? <laughs> maybe, <laughs> maybe, heard it before. Maybe the change of name, though. The, you know, the change Bengaluru. Of name, They've become the Bengaluru. The change of colours on the, you know, the shirt colour. Maybe this is the year. You, but just to come back to the WPL quickly, um, what I really enjoyed is we know the final was in Delhi. Yes. And we saw the footage of the, Bengal, the streets of Bengaluru going absolutely crazy. Fans mm -hmm. filling the streets. And it just shows you how yeah. far the WPL has come. You At know? the toss, you couldn't hear anything, what the captain was coming back to you with. So it was that kind of fan following. And, and for us also, for all, all the broadcasters, you know, for us also it was an eye-opening because those RCB fans are everywhere. And it's such a nice thing to see the stadium being full. No, I feel for the RCB fans, and I think it's good to have them this win. Uh, but do you really genuinely feel, AB, this could be RCB's year? I know you will be a little bit biased, but, uh, uh, you know, who looks like a good title contender? I, I really do believe we can win it. Um, we will win it this year. Um, look, you've got to be patient. Sport is a funny thing. Um, cricket is, uh, is not predictable, otherwise it would have been boring. Um, so maybe once the shackles are broken, and I think really think the women, sometimes things just happen in a weird way. I think the women have broken the shackles, and once the RCB men's team get one win, I think there's going to be quite a few um, back to back. So <laughs> yeah, hopefully, hopefully we go from strength to strength this season. Brett, do you agree? I was actually going through the list of um, teams, the, the 10 franchises, and, and, and I, not because he's sitting next to me, but I, I actually think. RCB have got a very good chance this year. Yeah, I, I would not back against them.
people, they always have a very good chance. When do they not have a very good chance? They've always well, they've, got a good team. They, yeah, they, they have arguably it. had the best side for a number of years, but, uh, you know, maybe different different ways where um, that they're, they're playing. And, and, and maybe, too, over here in India, there, there's a lot of superstitions. The yeah. change of the name, the change of the colour of the clothing, this could be their year. No, but, Amy, what did hold RCB back? Like, uh, I'm sure there were plenty of discussions around this because it had a superstar team, including yourself, for so many years. There were nine other superstar star teams as well, you know? It's just, <laughs> <laughs> you look at World Cups, I mean, any, any team can win it. The IPL, actually, even more so. There are 10 incredibly But most of the teams have won it. Uh, well, there are quite a few that haven't won it too, you know? <laughs> we are sitting in Delhi, don't forget, huh? <laughs> let, let don't remind me about let's, Delhi. Let's not go there. I know Anjum, Akash and I <laughs> suffer because of the Delhi thing. But, uh, but uh, was there something or it's just, it's just how it goes it, sometimes? It's just part of sport. Um, it's not predictable. We gave it our absolute best. Lost a couple of times or three times in the final. Um, we had our chances here and there, so we got ourselves to blame. But hopefully, and I mentioned it to you before, hopefully the legacy over the last few years that the senior players or the guys who have left already, have left behind, will carry the, carry the team across the line in the years to come. Akash, what is the Akash Tippani and the Akash Vani on this, this season's title contenders? See, I think firstly, Smriti will go to the men's dressing room and, and give them a pep talk. <laughs> that's what, that's what should happen. Uh, they gave her a beautiful uh, guard of honor yesterday, I was yes. seeing, and it was beautiful. Uh, on a serious note, I do feel, uh, see, uh, all, all teams are fairly good, and I agree with AB. It, there's just a lot more to it uh, than having a good team, uh, which results in uh, lifting the trophy. Uh, when, I, when I just put all th teams together, Mumbai Indians are standing out. Uh, they are a very good team. So I, I'd say it could just be the Mumbai is here once again. Anjum, for you? And also keep Delhi in the mix as well. They we do keep Delhi in the mix yeah. every Delhi year. in the mix. They're, they're just around, and RCB can g jump from there as well. So don't put more pressure on AB. He's not playing. He doesn't have to hit those <laughs> shots around the, around the ground. But I'm sure as long as IPL is entertaining and we can see all that entertainment in different languages on mm -hmm. GeoCinema, why not? AB, will you go to the dressing room maybe? Catch up with the old guys and, uh, I don't know, talk to them? Listen, you're asking me a lot of questions <laughs> now. Eh? She's putting me <laughs> under big pressure. <laughs> Um, I, I would love to. I, I have been in touch with some of the players. Um, they have a new coach in Andy Flower. Some things have changed over there. So it's maybe a bit of a fresh start for them. Hmm. Um, so I've decided just to, to sit back and wait. If I hear from someone, I would very, I would very much be open to, to have a conversation with the guys and hmm. give them whatever knowledge I have. Um, but I do feel there's so many world-class players in that team for this season. They're going to be just fine. All right. So, you know, we, uh, we have on the panel uh, members of the cricket world who've done what they did with the bat and ball. And then, you know, they have other talents. We all know about Brett Lee's musical talent uh, that has been flourishing uh, all through his cricket career, but also uh, especially post that. We know about your love affair with India as well. We've got YouTube content creators in AB and Akash and commentators par excellence. Uh, but you are here, Brett. I do want to ask you. Here you want to hum something nice in Hindi for us? In Hindi? Hame tumar hoon tumar hi rahunga. Put it in music. What was that? That was a little cheesy love song I wrote in 2006, and I sang it. I had the pleasure to sing with Asha G, Asha yeah. Bosle. Um, I remember that. And it was funny because I used to go to the ground and I'd be there playing, whether it be in the Indian Premier League. and to think that I'll be out there running in the bowl and they'll be singing the song that I wrote, which was, uh, which was quite fun. Mm. I know that AB loves Hindi songs too. You were humming some on your YouTube channel. Yeah, hum, I'm, please, sing. I'm a, I'm a shower singer, you know. I, I keep the stuff in my head. But what is that favourite song of yours? <laughs> I'm definitely not going to sing on live TV, all right? <laughs> but I do know a few, but um, I think... Okay, great, okay. Uh, tell us your favourite song. Well, I performed with Shah Rukh Khan before. Yeah, <laughs> Oh, so nice. Oh, brilliant. <laughs> Excellent. And it sounds so very different when AB has actually sung that song or in a little few words. It sounds so very different. Hum, ye dosti hum nahi and all. Very nice. He's, 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 also, he's also in Hindi commentary box this year then. <laughs> <laughs> he's there. Suraj ki bahon? No? no? Okay, let's leave. No, no, no. One of my favorite songs. Mukabala, Mukabala. <laughs> Come on, Akash, let's give him company. I, 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 no, you I, start, I'll follow. 
Yeah, I'll have to put it on uh, if, <laughs> because I'm, I'm bad at it. There are two better singers here. Much better. Where is it? I, I kept it somewhere. Anjum knows that song as well. Back after yeah. show, break. Yeah, but who's singing it with me? AB singing it with you. Because it's AB's, AB's favorite song. So he, 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 he was uh, singing a song from uh, the... <laughs> Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows the that is a nice song. Come on, come on, come on. So, so for, for cricket for cricketers, basically it's if you're not on the park, you're obviously you know Did right now of course you're listening to music personally, but earlier days it was music was loud on the team bus and there was no option. So if it was a player who understood Hindi or Punjabi or any other language, that uh. was the music which used to play on the team bus. Yes. And everyone else had no option. <laughs> so whether it was a Walkman or whether it was a CD or now with the AirPods mm. or whatever you might call it, nowadays you do have options. Earlier you didn't. So it mm. was one of those. So Zindagi na milegi dobara. Walkman. Yeah. I've not heard Walkman for about 20 years. That's brilliant. <laughs> exactly. There was no. There was no option. You had whoever was sitting was yeah. whoever was seated True. next to the driver, the cassette or the CD or whatever. Yeah, was just get it. The good old days. Yeah. 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 Good old days. Uh, final 15 seconds, Akash. Okay. The IPL season starting in two. Mm. Days, if you were to set it up for the audiences in Hindi, how would you do it? And we'll, we'll end with that. Bhot sare records banenge, bhot sare tootenge, bhot sara bhaega pasina aur hoga bhot sara pain. Par yehi to sikhaya tha na, ki no pain, no gain, uh, satra ka khatra is bar hone wala hai because this is season number 17 aur uh, manch tayyar hai. Ab dekhna ye hoga ki sarpanch kon banega. Panch baar jeeta hai Chennai, panch baar jeeta hai Mumbai. Will we have a new winner in Bangalore? Uh, we shall find out. All right. On that note, a big round of applause for our cricketers on the panel. Thank you so much, ABG, Brett Lee, Akash and Anjum. Thanks a lot. Thank you, Shivani. That was a very engaging discussion. Ladies and gentlemen, our next session involves a bright bunch of young and talented actors. There's always something special about generational change. More so if it involves people where the next gen is crafting its own stories in an industry where compelling storytelling 